We must enter the deep wood, the impenetrable forest of the Shi. First, we need to find a guide to take us in. There is an abandoned village on the edge of the magical wood, and local legends say that this might be the entrance to the Twilight Realm. We are supposed to find the Fairy Knight there, a Seelie warrior who has chosen to live a human life. He could be a perfect guide for us. Hey everyone, welcome back to King Arthur Knight's Tale. We're going on another story mission. Previous episode, we finally defeated another shard of Arthur in the form of the Fisher King. And it also means that we're going to get another upgrade in enemies. So I'm guessing we're going to be fighting a lot more fairies now, especially now since we are going to enter the fairy realm. Now, from what I saw in different videos, the opponents we're fighting now will have more and more special abilities just like us knights have, like abilities to charge, pull characters in, um, maybe do AoE damage and stuff like that. So I'm quite curious to see how I will fare against uh, these new opponents and we're gonna find out in the deep wood. Wait, wait, are you looking for your companion? He is wandering among the ruins. Our companion? There's another knight around here? Yes, a grim fellow. He had no quarrel with me. I hope that you'll let me leave in peace too. Who was he? Did he tell you his name? No, he didn't. He asked me about the she and the sacred circle and then just left. Sacred circle? It is an ancient shrine built by the she folk. It stands on the brink of the deep wood. I've been taking care of the place since the village was abandoned. Is that the entrance to the deep wood? I don't know. I'm just a simple druid of the old faith. I keep the place clean and make the usual offerings. Are you a friend of the she? The she won't make friends with mortals. They wouldn't even understand the idea. They wouldn't hurt us druids, though. What are the pigs doing here? They came at dawn. They must be preparing a ceremony in the sacred circle. I'll wait here until they leave. They can't stay forever. The she laws won't allow them. Okay, wait here. We're going to visit that circle of yours. I'll be waiting at the ruins. It's safer there. Okay. So, as you can tell, I took um, a very experimental party. Normally, I would take Balin, but he has been uh, injured in the previous episode. So, I have two Arcanists now. With Hector, I'm hoping to do a bunch of damage. And uh, Sir Dagonet here, I hope to use him to uh, debuff, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I, I hope he'll survive. Pirate skins, I want their pelts. Okay, that's a great way to start. We found a bunch of Picts. Is there Picts archers? Yes. That's one less. Let's put that uh, Chosen back. Our Black Knight. Uh, let me see, what are you gonna do? They're all gonna gang up on Mordred anyway, so let me move you forward here. Won't be able to hit anything just yet, so let's do this. And then Hector, can you reach that one? Yes. That is done. And now we could slow some people down, perhaps the chieftain over there. And then in a moment, we can uh, start throwing some fire what? bombs over there. Which is, of course, what you all came to see, right? Now, uh, Desecrated Ground is uh, quite a nice, big, chunky... AoE. So we're gonna throw that right over there. That weakens and slows them down, and pretty much everyone has to go through it, so, um... And then let's weaken you too. Hail to the silly car. 
Oh, oh here we we attack. have some. Um, this is what I meant. So hopefully these are gonna fight amongst each other. Yes, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Okay, that is great. That is great for us, meaning we can just uh, let them go at it and pick off whatever uh, stragglers are left. Kind of courageous Seely here to uh, jump into this uh, group. One is almost down. But yeah, so all of them are, are running towards the Seely, so uh, that is good. We just need to take care of basically two pick chosen who <laughs> decided to go invulnerable. Great. Uh, so with the Black Knight, this would be a great area to jump into. Ready. But uh, that is not going to happen. Can we hit you? Oh yeah, we can kill you even. So much for the chieftain. And then, let's see, let's move a little bit closer, see how far our fire reaches. That seems like a great spot. Let's drop a bomb. Now we could blood hack someone too. Why not? Start bleeding. Power and glory. And then I'm assuming we're going to be able to... Oh, could we shoot someone? Yeah, we can actually. We can backstab a guy. Easy, easy pickings, like I mentioned. Yeah, look at that. That that is a, a nice ability. That's like a dash or something. <laughs> Didn't save him though. <laughs> Could have used the uh, protection from. Arrows uh, ability much better. All right, we got a stun, another stun, double stun on the Sealy, and now we need to kind of take care of uh, these guys here. Uh, let's see how we're gonna do that. How about we start with some vulnerability? Oh yeah, that stuns. That is great. Ready. And then let us uh, walk in here and wag this guy. <laughs> Split him in half. As you do. Sinner shall bleed. Skill that guy. And then what else can we do? I don't think we can uh, reach anyone. Maybe we can reach someone here. Yeah, let's uh, let's just do that for uh, for Power fun's sake. And glory. And then let's try and blast that archer. There we go. Hopefully this one keeps targeting the Sealy or the, the Springborn. Let's let's get used to the new terminology as well. Let's go, archer. Yes, they do seem to um, still focus over there. That is good news. Mordred, you can almost reach that uh, Chosen. Let's do that. And then let's move in. We're just going to whack the Chosen here. Going to, like the Springborn might attack Mordred, but I'm assuming the Picts will kill the Springborn before they kill Mordred. What? Or at least that is uh, the goal. Oh, okay, yeah. So <laughs> I apparently gave a, a Ring of Teleport to um, the Black Knight, so I need to keep that in mind. Because uh, he can jump all over the place now. Power and glory. Which is pretty amazing, if you ask me. Let's get rid of that archer. 
and then just uh, move a bit closer power and glory and here let well yeah let's just kill the springborn anyway then there we go we might as well can we reach that back one hmm. maybe maybe yes awesome done There we go again. Another turn wasted because of the uh, vulnerability, so uh, I'm not gonna do much here. We can drain life. This probably won't work either, I'm assuming, when they're invulnerable. Make up your mind. Uh, so let's just move a little bit closer here and then we'll teleport them to the back. Blessings. Let's move over here, put up an overwatch, and then what? we're gonna do the same thing with Dagonet. Put up the overwatch that way, and then they'll probably get shot twice. Yep. Well, at least once. And then let's just finish this guy off. Did I miss a good fight? Sir Gawain, what a surprise! The surprise is all mine. Knights of the New Round Table. What brings you here? We're looking for the Fairy Knight. Do you know him? You are talking about the She-Monster who thinks himself human. Oh, we'll go way back. If you came to hunt him down, you better not leave me out of it. Easy there. We only want to talk to him. He can guide us into the deep wood. No she will ever assist you to enter that damned forest. You should have asked me, though. I've wandered inside once or twice. You seem to know a lot about the she. Of course I do. I've been hunting down other worldly creatures for a while. Particularly, these she bastards and their changelings. Well, we just killed some of them, too. Oh, yes. The Springborn are patrolling this part of the forest. Human children kidnapped, twisted and trained by the Sealy. For every child they stole from us, I swore to gut a true blood she. You would be very useful company in the deep wood. <laughs> is he joining? He is joining. What is Gawain? Gawain seems to be... Is that a defender? Doesn't... Yeah, it could be a defender. Could be similar to a Mordred. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch... Maybe do it like this even. Put the, the both of them at the front. Uh, Gawain must survive, so <laughs> need to keep that in mind. What is that? What did you see over there? Garbage or real treasure this time. Nineteen golds. We uh, we could use some upgrades in uh, Camelot, though. I've upgraded uh, most of or all of the hospice that I could, but uh, yeah, the training ground and the cathedral. I would love to uh, fully upgrade as well. And uh, we're gonna jump into the back of these picks here. Help! Save me! Please! Okay, so I've split up the group here. I hope I'm not gonna regret that. Waiting your command. Uh, you don't have. A uh, shield bash ability, so you do have an archer killing ability, which is uh, awesome. I can take them all. I'm gonna get rid of that bowman, although I would have better shot that one, but hey, you know. Let's push that guy down. 
I serve the Lord. And then can you reach the one in the back there? No. Let's just uh, damage pick chosen here. What? And then uh, I was hoping that we could jump onto someone and hit more than one person, but they are just a little bit out of um... that is a pity what in any case let's uh, kill two of them then we might as well slow this guy down why not and uh, see what happens what we, we can for? slow someone else down how about the chosen and I will see who they attack. I'm curious. Ooh, they do focus on the non-player character, let's say. Or some of them do. Good thing that he went to the Black Knight and not to uh, Dagonet. Although Hector is less lucky. vulnerable here okay so the main focus seems to be on us which is uh, good oh the NPC actually shoots but such little damage that it doesn't really matter that much uh, let's kill this guy waiting your command yeah he can hit three times which is nice no mercy for the wicked. So, Hector. It uh, sucks a little bit that you are... Yeah. You might still be attacked from there, but uh, we'll see. What are we waiting for? Let's uh, cleave some people on this side. That sounds like a great plan. One down. Two down. We haven't even used our desecrated ground yet. I mean, <laughs> we're just cleaning house. We are gonna eat another arrow. And I'm guessing this guy needs to survive as well. Save the hunter. Yep. Okay, they're all enraged now, as they should be. Prefer to backstab. Uh, Gawain here. All right. Power and glory. I can move over here. That doesn't kill. This would kill. Oh, this wouldn't even kill. Really? How about I throw it? Oh no, that's on Gawain. That might not be the best. Let's throw it over there. And I cannot do that, but I can blood hex the guy. I hope that does a little bit of damage None at least. Can stand it. I'm gonna backstab this one. Ooh, actually, let's just kill him. Should have done that in the right order, of course, but you know, it's me, I am here to serve. Mr. Strategic. <laughs> And uh, Mr. Strategic still doesn't know how to play this game after, what, episode 20-something? Although, I have to say, we I'm not sure if we have lost a knight yet, but... It's not been going uh, too poorly, let's put it like that. Thank you for saving my family. Those picks worship the Dark Gods. They wanted to sacrifice us to them. Who are you? We are followers of the old faith. When everyone left the village, I stayed with my family. We help out a druid who also lives around here. Yeah, we met him. Do you know how to enter the deep wood? You should visit the sacred circle. 
That's where the fairies come through. Very often these days. They don't harm us. Sometimes they even give us some relief. Yeah, it's good to know. Okay, so he's of the old fate, so that means we're not gonna kill him, of course. We could use another fire, though. Just to get uh, the, feast. the armor back up. Or a shrine. I wouldn't uh, complain about a shrine, either. Don't get in the back of that. Alright, let's uh, continue. The Sacred Circle. This feels like the place where there is like a gigantic Stone fight circle. going on. Look, the picks are draining the power of the she magic. Good. They may lure the she here. <laughs> that the uh... Babylonian rats. I can smell them. Their blood will please the gods. That kind of made me think of uh, Queen there with uh, the bang on the shields and then... I'm sure they hadn't discovered Queen yet. Ready. We can target one from over here, but that's well, actually that didn't do too bad of damage make up your mind oh, here we go let's target another one I can take them all all right so we're just gonna set up an overwatch here uh, same with Gawain and then, as usual, we're just gonna let them come to us and see what happens. And uh, the Black Knight... Ideally, you would... Uh, be able to jump in somewhere and uh, not forget that you can teleport as well. <laughs> Although that is less of a Black Knight's issue, more of a Ralph issue, but hey, you know. Yep. Good. Two Overwatch attacks, he's still not dead. I need to feed my knights more broccoli. Clearly. Look, uh -oh. a true blood sealy. What a lucky day. We need his untainted blood. Kill him. Who is the true blood sealy? Oh, this one, I guess. Sealy Lord. Yeah, and these guys don't look too friendly either, to be honest. Awaiting uh, no let me start by killing... Oh, you cannot kill him? Time to feed the Let's do it like that. And we uh, target you. Let's stun the Lord. I think that's, uh, that's a good way to start things off. Uh... Another good way to start things off is by setting stuff on fire. Like that. And then I just need to worry about... Um, not getting uh, Hector here in trouble. I could... Oh yeah, that's a nice hit. Let's uh, do that. Let's do that. That seemed like a Ready. good thing to do, right? How far can we reach our uh, gigantic template here? Let's uh, do some hallowed ground action. It's a bit of a pity that we cannot catch... Yeah. If we do it like this... The Seely Lord will have to walk through it anyway, unless they have, like, teleportation stuff. Can we slow him down? No. Let's 
slow that guy down. And uh, let's see what happens. Hopefully the Picts uh, all jump on the Sealy. Ooh, he has the ability to blind someone. That is not good. At least that one focused on the Picts. Yep, yep. That's good, that's good. Don't... Don't mind us. Of course, he's gonna target us. He, he does recognize, like, who is the most dangerous opponent. So, you know, you gotta give it to the guy. But um, I would have preferred if he had uh, targeted uh, the people in this uh, gooey mess here. We, <laughs> we got fire, we got... Uh, Unhallowed ground, we got uh, whatever this is, uh, poison stuff. This place is nasty. <laughs> Ready. All right, that is... Uh, oh no, are you kidding me? What does this blind stuff do? 80% chance to miss the target. Fight me. Oh my goodness, that that is super annoying. So, we need to get rid of this guy. Like that. Let's make this guy vulnerable. Hopefully that doesn't push him back. Yeah, of course it does. So now I can't hit him. Let's uh, put on the overwatch. Let's uh, kill him with um, Hector here. And then we need to do something about this guy too. Ready. Dagonet, can you do something about that guy? You're gonna need to move over there to hit him. That does a good chunk of damage, though. That is nice. Okay. Curious to see what Dagonet's uh, final uh, tier level of skills is. The Seely Lord is almost... Oh, he healed a little bit. Or did he go down? Uh, well, now he's down. Or is it that guy? Oh, that... Maybe that guy. Still have to learn uh, to recognize them. Yeah, this is the Lord. Okay. What? Ah, that's such a pity. We don't have... Although, I say we don't have. We do have a teleport ability. Zwoink. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot he was still blind, actually. <laughs> Yeah, that could have gone uh, wrong, as uh, so many things that I do. Can we reach that one? No. We can hit the Summerborn and stun him. Ready. What? All right, Dagonet, you cannot reach this one, unfortunately. can. Oh, you could from here, but not with the full force. Although, maybe... Uh, if we give you a blood hex, maybe that is enough to kill. We'll see. Your Highness. Uh, Gawain, what are you gonna do in the meanwhile? How about you maneuver... ...over here? And then you can still backstab that one. No mercy for the wicked. Sounds good. Yep, sounds good. Let's uh, go into cover here. Okay, Chieftain is down. 
all the Sealy are down, which means they're gonna start targeting us. There's still a Shaman out there, which uh, we do need to take care of. Let's bump this guy to death. Shield Bash. I mean, that must be uh, pretty shitty for a fighter, right? If you get killed by a Shield Bash. Power and glory. How many times can we use this thing? Once per encounter. Oh, okay, that's that's good to know. That is good to know. Let us run in here. And then we're what? going to need to start targeting... This one. That means... We can hit it. Uh, we can't do that, unfortunately. All right, so we're gonna need to move closer. I serve the Lord. And then Hector. From there, you could hit. But I am more interested in uh, hitting this one. That does a good chunk. And then we will get shot. Let's see what we got still left. Yeah, you cannot reach anyone though. Let's uh, let's place Gawain in front of Hector. Maybe that helps. Oh wow! Well, it it does actually help. And now you die. The entrance to the deep wood of the Shi. Pathway is blocked. But we can open the gate. We already have the untainted blood of a Sealy Lord. Now we just need the blood of an Unsealy. How can we lure them here? Us? <laughs> we can't. But the Druid called the Sealy here to get rid of the Picts. He can surely call the Unsealy too. Where is that lying worm? What have you done? <laughs> Savages! You are worse than the Picts! He hears a lying worm and he comes running. Stop lamenting and do what Sir Gawain says. Call the Unseely. I know you can do it. But we need a true blood, not some twisted changeling breed. And don't try to trick us again. No, we shouldn't call them here. The Unseely court is cruel and cold. Don't lie to us. We all know they won't harm you. Or perhaps we should just desecrate their precious shrine. Piss on those statues or smash it to rubble. Would they come then? You are truly a madman, Sir Gawain. No, no. What a cruel and terrible idea. They would send an army. And this shrine is a sacred place. I'll do what you want. I'll call them. Good, I'll let you know when we're ready. Uh, yeah, so is there, uh, like a fire nearby? Although we didn't really get hurt. There is a fire, so Next. I think I'm gonna use that yeah. just to get uh, the armor back up. Rest, kill, repeat. Yes. Only untainted she blood can open the pathway into the deep wood. This is their law. You found another way in, didn't you? Ha! Those inhuman creatures will never understand our way of thinking. Of course, I know how to bend the rules. All we need is some drops of she blood from a Sealy and an Unsealy. And I mean fresh blood. You sure it will work? And it's not the first time I've sneaked into that accursed deep wood. Yes, it bloody well works. Let's see. Okay, well, I, I could explore the rest of the map. But, um... I am quite curious on uh, what's gonna happen here. I can call the Unsealy when you are ready. What do you think? Well, we are prepared. I mean, it's a bold statement, but uh, I, I hope it's true.
What is gonna I run out of there? Stink. This whole place reeks of their sweat. Oh shit. Okay, so the unsealy don't seem super friendly. Okay, we'll see how that goes. What let's uh, let's start by uh, desecrating whatever they're standing on. Seems like a good start if I've ever seen one. Let's do that to the winter breed over here and then maybe get some cover. What? And then what can we do over here? Can we put stuff on fire? That is too... Yeah, only two of them. Oh no, that's three of them. Okay, let's uh, throw the fire over there. He has been slowed already, I think. So, actually... What? That kills one. Well, that is good. I don't want to uh, mess with them more than I have to. Uh, we can... Put some extra damage on the Autumn Breed. For my Camelot. And then let's see. Let's, um, let's put some lightning on uh, the lady over there. And I'm guessing that is safe to do. He's not in the fire. And then Gawain might as well put you next to him and uh, set up an overwatch. Let's see who they attack. Yep. There is three left. Ooh, they. Yep. That's what I was saying in the at the start of the episode. So they do have like these special abilities. Uh, like stun, like pulling someone in. Good thing that uh, he pulled in Mordred. Let me try and get rid of you. Yes, that works. Gawain got stunned from this uh, winter breed, so he threw, I think, double axes at him. What can we do now? We cannot jump. I don't want to jump in there. What are we waiting for? We can kill the lady, which is great. And hopefully, we can kill uh, the winter breed too. Yeah. It's done. Now take the blood and paint your armor with it. When you reach the gate, the pathway will open for you. Okay, so I have to say, like, if it's just four or five of them, we seem to be equipped to deal with them. Uh, it sounds insane, I trust your advice. But uh, let's see what happens if it's, uh, like, 20 or 30. Now, there is a gigantic portion of the map that we have not yet explored, although it I think that part is behind... I'm not sure if I can return here on this portion. So what I would like to do is explore this part of the map. I don't know if we if we go back here or if we teleport back to Camelot from inside of the deep wood. So uh, let's, uh, let's handle our encounters on this side first. What do we got here? Who uh, basically just killed... One picked with uh, six, seven of them. Impressive. 
impressive, you guys. Okay, almost dead. I don't want to use my teleport just yet. Power and glory. Can actually kill this guy. Let's just do that. Springborn champion. Sounds scary too. What are we waiting for? And uh, yeah, let's just blast some people. Can we reach that guy? No. Let's slow this one down then. And uh, see what happens. Oh, another blind. Oh, no, they blinded Mordred. That is not good at all. Right. Okay, we're going to need to um, start our debuff engine. Your mind. Let's uh, start with some... Uh, what's it called again? Desecrated ground. I... I was saying unhallowed ground before, but uh, let's hit this guy. I serve the Lord. Can we firebomb something like this, maybe? That to me seems like a great uh, ability. I mean, this teleport in the Black Knight, that is just, you know, it's asking to get your ass kicked if, if you're, uh, you know, fighting me, that is. What does this flurry do? 130 to two adjacent enemies. Okay, let's try that. Okay. I serve the Lord. And then we can still we can take out the champion there. He should die from fire and bleeding. I can take And then we still have our blind buddy here. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, poor Mordred. Hey, even blind, he uh, he was able to hit, so that's impressive. Ooh. Yep, they're ganging up on Gawain, and we need Gawain to survive. They don't like Gawain very much, do they? Let me uh, backstab you too. There we go. Then, what is the best way to deal with this situation? Make up your mind. Let's start blasting that champion a little bit. No mercy for the wicked. Actually, we could slow him down. Make him vulnerable first. Ready. Stand in my Are way. we still blind? Yeah, we're still blind. Does that uh, include lightning strikes? No, lightning strikes apparently hit. Okay, let's uh, move you in that direction. Okay, our champion healed himself a little bit, but he did not attack. He did not attack. Alright, so we are gonna get ourselves in here. So let me make him even more vulnerable. I am here to see. Yeah. That is a kill. And hopefully this is a kill too. Nope, not yet. What? And we target the guy. 
Done. Let's count the body, shall we? Okay, so that was um, about seven ish Sealy, which we were able to handle. But uh, Gawain is uh, not doing very well. Although he could drink a potion. Gain loot, yes. Give that to Mordred. All loot to Mordred. Let's uh, drink that healing potion with Gawain. Let's grab ourselves a relic. And found. Keep trying. I keep trying. What are we doing here? Like behind all these ruins. Take a look at this. I hoped for something more. Yeah, not just you, Mordred. Oh, we found some more picks. Yeah, well. You are gonna get slain. I am thirsty. Let's start by doing that. And we cannot reach anyone. That's a pity. Okay, so we're gonna let them come to us. But where is uh, my Black Knight buddy here? I don't want... Uh, Make up your mind. I don't want Gawain to get shot. I am here so. to serve. He does have a taunt ability. It's yeah, not probably it. not smart to use that right now. Let us get rid of these archers for now. And then let's try and slow Power some people down. Glory. Oh, we can't reach that guy. Okay. That's it. Let's slay the pitiful dogs. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. Uh, so, yeah, this is great again. Like, they're just gonna jump each other now. I'm assuming. Let's see what this first one does. If he runs to us or... Also goes after the Sealy. Yeah, he comes to us with at least one step. Look at this juicy, juicy firebomb location. Whoop, whoop. Anyone else is Power getting excited for glory. this? Man, I love that stuff. Let's get ready for some unhallowing. You're all weak. They're all slow. And... You're all on fire. Well, not all, but, you know. Let's, let me be greedy for a second here. Let's uh, backstab this guy. Power and glory. Can you attack him? No. None can stand in my way. That is also not Waiting possible. For my Camelot. Let's do it like this. We have a chieftain over there, but what? I I don't think I can reach him with the teleport. I don't think it goes... Ooh. Although, ideally, I would be in his back. So... This is four. Our attack is also four. Well, now. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, I love me some Black Knight teleporting. What does this drain life? I haven't even used that with Mordred. But yeah, he hasn't really been losing hit points either. 
So uh, let all this uh, play out. Someone should throw some poison in there, just for fun. If only we had Skaven in this uh, mythology. Let's uh, kill us some archer. Whacked him into the rock. What? And then I think it's time for some more backstabbing. Backstab over there. That's a dead Sealy. Move Mordred over here. Set up the Overwatch. Do the same with Gawain. I don't think they're gonna target us. I'm assuming they're still um, focused on each other here. The Lord and is well, we could slow the pick down as well. Why not? And we can slow that Springborn down too. Not sure which one I picked even. Probably, probably with my luck I picked the one that uh, died. Ready. Let's... Uh, oh, we don't even have to power attack. We just kill him straight up. My goodness, Black Knight, you are... Very good. And the stun ability on the lightning strike. Ready. I love it. Done. We are uh, starting to become quite powerful. In, uh, in my opinion. The abandoned village. Is this uh, where we started out? It does look like that, yes. Okay, so there is a little bit in this village that we have not explored. Not even sure if we can uh, run through like this. There. Oh, look at that, 24 gold that I wouldn't have picked up otherwise. Okay, let's uh, run through this gate and see what happens. Welcome to the borderlands between Avalon and the Sheet Realm. We must find the gate to enter the real deep wood here. I know where to look, but she built a whole sanctum around it, so it would be hard to miss it. Okay, so we have an exclamation mark here. A wetter breed, a changeling warrior of the Unseelie. He was killed by a blade. There is another corpse. Someone is killing the Unseelie wretches of this wood. It should have been me. I recognize the rune signs. That man was from the retinue of the Unseely Witch who we killed. It looks like someone was luring them into a trap. Okay. And who would that someone be? If we're gonna find out. Oh. Man, if uh, if I can recruit this guy. Very night. Sir Gawain. The knight who never learns. You are not welcome in this forest. Calm down, Sir Gawain. We need to talk to this knight. Talk fast, then, because this will not end pleasantly. Can't you see he was uh, helping us by killing the Unseelie? Yes, but there were too many of them. I saw you on the other side of the gate, and I knew you need some help. Just as I need some here. Explain yourself. Not now, and not here. 
see you again in the deep wood. Wait. He is a she, but he was exiled by his own because of his love of mankind. Whoever he is, I am hunting his kind, so he is still my enemy. Believe me, I know what fate means. Okay, so we have a fire going on here. The question is, should we use probably to get Gawain's armor back up? I think I burned a feast. Hit points wise, we seem to be doing just fine. So it's pointing us uh, in the other direction. I see that, but um, I want to explore a little bit. This unearthly forest is a borderland between the kingdom of man and the kingdom of the she. Do there is yes, another fire. It. Just follow the pathway. It leads to the gate of the she realm. Yeah, but that's not the way I want to go just yet. Ooh, we have these uh, balls again. Yikes. Intruders, mortal prey. How dare you? I'll give you a pen for death. Oh shit, so that is seven, seven opponents that can actually stun us. And the Fogbringer, I don't know what he does, or she or it, but uh, that kind of sucks. And we... Uh, and we reach one, yes. Yeah, that's one less stun. Now we need to be careful with uh, Gawain here. Let's just set him up over here with a little bit of an overwatch. And I think this teleport is going to be used to jump into the uh, Fogbringer's back a little later. Let's get rid of that guy. What? And we probably won't be able to target anyone else, so let's just throw up that overwatch and uh, see what happens. That is a stun. That was blocked somewhat. Man, that, those have impact. Those have really big impact. Although he is uh, he is blocking a quite good chunk of them, but uh, still. Make up your mind. All right, how far can we get? Not far enough. That's a pity. That is a pity. Let us bleed that one. What? And then. Oh wow, that does a really nice amount of damage actually. What are we waiting for? Black Knight is stunned, Mordred is not stunned. We haven't really used this yet. Well, how about we do that? It's too much fun not to use, right? I am ready. No, I don't want to do silly things with um, Gawain here. He's gonna be targeted some more, most likely. So let's keep him here for now. The Lord is my witness. And we reach someone. Let's uh, give that one slow too. Mm. 
<laughs> oh yes, great. Just uh, run, run into that. Yes, you too, please. Okay, they they found out that our arcanists are dangerous. So Gawain is blocking a good chunk of that stuff. So that is uh, that is good actually. Sinner shall bleed. Let us whack another one. And I bleed that one. Let's bleed the fog bringer if that works. Make up your mind. Looks like that works. Can hit him. Oh, that does a nice chunk of damage. That is good. Um, but we do need to get in there somehow. Ready. And I'm wondering if we go here. Can we cleave? It's not gonna kill both of them, but at least it uh, took care of one. I am here to serve. For my Camelot. And then, oh, Mordred has uh, the. Hmm. That seems like a good idea. And then uh, let's uh, let's stay where we are, I guess. I am ready. Damn, he's dead. That is good. That is very, very good. Okay, that's again blocked. He's running back. We get another hit. Yep, yeah, that's also okay. Just one armor. Let us uh, run in here, because we've been waiting way too long in the back here. And let's put you in melee, see how you like that. Ready. What? Uh, we have Dagonet stunned. Can blow up these two guys. Ready. One more to go. That is very nice. Ready to fight. We cannot... Yeah, let's uh, run uh, Gawain in melee here as well. He's probably gonna run back, hopefully get uh, attacked. Oh no. He does not run back. Well, that was a bad idea. So did we turn this thing on? No, we did not. Hope, the she lanterns of wisdom are still glowing in the darkness. Okay, I'm glad we made um, we made the Lady of the Lake happy at least. So there is three of them. Let's uh, let's find the other two. Treasure lost and found. Before we head into uh, presumably the final confrontation, this is the, the Shi are not united. The Seely Court and the Unseely Court rule over them. They are not enemies, but desperate rivals. Ooh. Oh! Step back, children of the moon. Your stubbornness is intolerable. Talk as much as you want, but if you move, you'll die. Okay, great. Yeah, this is uh, this is perfect. So now we're we're just gonna be spectators, and there is a, a second one of those beacons. Ooh. We're just gonna watch them kill each other.
Can I reach someone? I cannot. Then let's just move up a little bit. Dagonet, you can target this one. The Summer Knight. Get rid of some of his armor. What? Oof, you are far back, Hector. Way too far back. Ready to fight. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Ready. Let's uh, slow the summer night so that he doesn't reach us unless he has some teleportation stuff. He does have some dashing abilities, yes. So it looks like the Unseely are more powerful than the Seely so far. Uh, we'll see how that continues once we uh, once we start throwing some unhallowed ground in their direction. That seems like a nice backstab. They only have one one guy left to finish. And then they'll be focusing on us. Oh no, there's two more to finish, okay. That dodge ability, that's pretty sneaky. Yeah, there, there was one. <laughs> Look at him being thrown around. But they're not really doing a lot of damage. They're not doing a lot what of damage. What are we waiting for? Okay, so... Um, can you reach... Something? Yes. Ideally, I would like you to be a little bit closer, though. I like this more, because then we can still attack them. And then let's try and do the same with Hector here and uh, bomb the place. That's a pity that the Fogbringer is in fog form, which means that uh, he's not getting uh, targeted right now. Closer again with the Black Knight, and then we'll, we'll teleport in somewhere. Time to feed the raven. And let's see, what can we do with the uh, Mordred here? Let's get rid of one of those axe throwers. That would be nice. And then let's try and get rid of another one here. Yep. really tell like who is uh, a part of which of which crew at the moment make up your mind but 
But I guess we're here to uh, kill everybody, so... Summer night, yeah, you should die. That's for certain. Master of the Elements. Uh, okay. Apparently, I killed someone in a special way. That's another summer night. We could... Jump in the back here. Let's jump over there. What? And then what else do we have? Let's bleed the autumn breed. Your Highness. Yeah, and this fog fellow, uh, he's not the. Uh, really reachable right now so we have the black knight in the back there that is also not ideal to say the least let's uh, throw some lightning in their direction Okay, the Fogbringer has returned from uh, Fog Form. Ideal moment to um, stun him and then kill him. <coughs> Nicely done. Mind. And now, what hopefully, we, we can. No, we we won't be able to reach him. That is a pity. Power and glory. Now we can kill him. That was a hell of a good fight, my friends. All mine. I hope for something more. Oh, look at the difference here again. I like that. That, uh, you know, like the... Um, the scenery changes so much. That would be really cool and really hard to describe in like a tabletop role-playing game. Like if you look to the left, the scenery changes from when you look to the right. But uh, they've done a really good job. You see this? This is exactly what I mean. I like that so much. And I think we're uh, we're quite ready for the final confrontation if we can uh, find our way back to it. That is. I clicked somewhere and they started running. I'm assuming it's in the right direction. <laughs> Do we need a fire? Maybe. I don't know what's happening. Here we are. This is the She Sanctum. Before we get any closer, you need to hear some important details. While I'm listening, Skate is different. It's. how shall I put it? It's sentient, it can even speak. You might think you're talking to a spirit, but it is the manifestation of the gate. Sentient gate? Okay. I'm not a sage. I know all this because I met some wise people. The gate is smart and it's aware of what we did. According to the rules, it must let us through. But it will try to make it as difficult as possible. Well, let's talk to Wait. it. Wait, one more detail. The most important. When you talk to the spirit, Make it short and use commands only. All right, we'll keep that in mind. Why did you summon me, mortal? Who are you? Are you a friend of the she? Open the gate. Really 
Obey my order and open the gates. Give me all your treasures, uh... <laughs> Man, that's tempting. <laughs> yeah, uh, fuck it. Then just open the freaking gate, okay? Leave now. Okay, what are we facing now? Oh, that looks like a lot. Oh shit, that is gonna be a lot. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, that is a lot. Uh, would be nice if we could clear a good chunk Make of them mind. before they reach us. I don't want to use that ability just yet. Take this. I can take them all. Ah, oh, that doesn't kill him. No, it does. Okay. That's one less. Okay. I am ready. Now we need to figure out a way to um, fight them off. Well, I'm guessing they're gonna get closer, and then we can start. Uh, what are we waiting for? Which ones are the closest, actually? I'm assuming these ones are gonna reach us first, so... I'm just gonna throw overwatches in that direction, like this. And then uh, we'll see. So we could throw Make down. Up your mind. Well, if we could actually reach them, we could. Let's jump the Black Knight over here. What? And then let's throw that. Unhallowed ground over there. No mercy for the wicked. And we're gonna throw the fire up there too. For my Camelot. And then we're gonna punch this guy into it with mortar it. There we go. And let's make the summer night vulnerable. And put on an overwatch. I hope he's not gonna pull us in here, which make up your mind. Which to be fair is quite likely that that's gonna happen. Uh, we're gonna keep to Gawain serve. here to uh, keep the other ones at bay so that we don't get we don't get our Arcanus in trouble in the back here which is also quite likely to happen. There we go. Okay, well, that one died. We need to get rid of these. Oh, I thought Mordor was stunned, actually. Power and glory. Hey, okay, that is not too bad. We can get rid of that one. What are we waiting for? Let us hit the summer night. None can stand in my way. 
And ah oh yes, we are stunned with murderers. Okay, that's a pity. What are we waiting for? Let's. Oh, we can't even kill him with a power attack. Really? Fight me. What? Your Highness. Where are the rest coming from? They're all from over there. So let me move Gawain a little bit more to the center here. He does have that taunting stuff, which uh, might come in handy. And uh, let's see. Let's use that. Okay, we got a blind black knight. Hopefully I have my uh, AoE attack back quite soon. Okay, summer knight done. Let's hit that lady of summer there because she looks like she's up to no good. Ready to fight. Then we're gonna grab ourselves some Springborn here. Probably not gonna mm -hmm. hit him. Nope. Power and glory. But we'll blast him with Dagonet. Uh, one more turn before we have it back, which, and one more turn here as well. So that is good news. So in the next turn, we're we're gonna drop some uh, some more bombs. Although I'm assuming that this these fire globes or whatever they are, uh, they're not gonna be impacted very much with our fire. But as long as we can get rid of that lady of summer there, that would what? be nice. Let's see Run if we can ah. by chance. Hit him. Nope, we cannot. I am here to serve. One. One freaking hit point. There we go again. Uh, so let's throw lightning. Oh, that actually kills these spheres? Really? Okay, well, that does a good chunk of damage then. What? Right. I need. Sinner shall bleed. Why can you not attack this lady? Ready to fight. Ready. Well, in that case, we're gonna have to uh, focus over here. Get rid of these guys. Slow that Make one down. Right. Cannot target the Lady of Summer. Let's see what she does. Fire rain. Yikes. I haven't seen that before. But it does a lot of damage. But it keeps going. Oh wow. Okay. Well, how about you eat some lightning? How do you like that? Can we please target this freaking lady? Make up your mind. Um actually. Make up your mind. If we move over here and we drop fire. That should help, right? Now at least she's burning. Power and glory. So this is probably going to damage us, I'm assuming, if we move out of it, right? No, it doesn't, doesn't seem like it. 
Uh, where can we run our Black Knight, though? Oh, we could actually. Does this go through? Yes, it does. That should stop the fire rain. And it killed the sphere. Okay, so now we only have one left. Ready. And we might be able to kill, yes. Phew. Stand a chance. Okay, well that was actually not too bad, to be honest. Knights of the Round Table, that was a hell of an adventure. We broke the law of the she. Unfortunately, I must leave you now. But you are free to use this gate anytime. We could use a fighter like you. Why don't you join us? Uh, I'm seriously tempted. Not yet, though. I have my own path to follow. I must pass through this gate alone, and I need to do it now. This all has a meaning in Deepwood. You will understand that soon enough. Good hunting, then, Sir Gawain. My prey is there for the taking. What else could I wish for? See you on the other side. We ventured into the deep wood and found an entire realm among the trees. This region of the Shi Forest was a crossroad between various worlds and it was a challenge not to get lost in the twilight, but at least now I know that I need to undertake two rites to enter the heart of the deep wood. A severely injured, delirious messenger crept into Camelot. According to his confused tale, the wild hunt has emerged from the untamed deep wood. Soon all of Avalon will dread the rage of the she. This is disturbing. Her wild hunt is a bloodthirsty culling of the mortals, which has swept through Avalon several times. Camelot shall be ready to answer this threat. Okay, so this increases the loyalty of everyone. It does cost a good chunk, but uh, that's what we're gonna have to do. Balan healed from injury. Lizolde leveled up. Guinevere finally regained vitality. And then there's a new challenge reward available, which is... The Essence of Warding, let's claim that. We're gonna grab Vengeance with the Black Knight. Giving us 10% weapon damage when we get hit. With Isolde we're gonna give uh, one extra AP. To our Bless skill. And then I think I'm just gonna reduce the cooldown of the freezing attack. Since I quite like to use that. For Dagonet, we're gonna give uh, 1 AP when killing an enemy with Force Bolt. That happens quite a lot too. And then we're gonna do Mass Hex to make our Slowing Hex a 3x3 tile. Sounds great. We have a bunch of events available as well. A Flood of Rotten Flesh. The Bridge of Sorrow. Is the main line of defense for Camelot, and even this seemingly impassable barrier fails from time to time. A horde of lost ones appeared in the forests around Camelot, terrorizing the small villages in the countryside. My knights are always eager to hunt down these shambling monstrosities, but in the meantime a growing number of old men, women and children are gathering at Camelot seeking refuge. Uh, does this decreases the rightful hero's loyalty that's only Lady Guinevere. Yeah, as much as I like Lady Guinevere, she really does not fit very well with our uh, pagan tyrant. Uh, in any case, we are uh, we already have uh, way too many mouths to feed, so um, bye. And then there is another event somewhere. First treasure of the Tuatadan. Mysterious Sage has asked for an audience at Sir Mordred. According to ancient legends, the Well of Konya is a wellspring of plenty thanks to a Tuatadan relic hiding in its depths. The relic is called the Stone of Fall, one of the four much desired treasures of the godly people, which could be obtained by an experienced and most cunning knight. In order to succeed, the knight has to win the goodwill of a Niskai, a water spirit who lived in the well. 
protecting the relic. Uh, sure, we are gonna send... Uh, how about we send... Um, the Lady Dendrain. She seems like... Uh, very well attuned to uh, water spirits. I don't know. We have a main mission beyond the Vale. I'm guessing this is where we're gonna actually recruit the Fairy Knight. I hope, at least. We uh, still need to look for the terrible Red Knight. There is the Wild Hunt. And the Cave of Shadows. Lots to choose from. I'm guessing we're gonna do the Cave of Shadows and the Wild Hunt in our next two episodes. And uh, then maybe the main mission. We'll see. In any case, that's gonna be the end of our episode. If you're enjoying the content, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you wanna follow along. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you at the Cave of Shadows.